Number nine, C, D, and E on the staff. We already know that each line in space on the staff stands for a note on the piano. And it goes up line, space, line, space, just through our alphabet, C, D, E, F, G, etc. The first note we're gonna need today is C. And you can see that C is kind of floating free like a little planet here, like Saturn, looks like the rings. Whenever we have a note that's outside of the main area of our staff, we're gonna use these little things called ledger lines. We just imagine that the staff goes on, that all the lines and spaces continue. So middle C is one ledger line below our treble clef staff. The next note we need today is gonna to be a space note, and that is D. It's touching the bottom line of the staff. So you can just kind of imagine a bubble that floated up and got stuck to the bottom. The third note we need is gonna be E. And it is the bottom line of the treble clef staff. It's on the other side of the two black keys. So the other thing I want to mention is that what kind of note we use is going to tell us how long to hold it. We're going to add rhythm in a couple steps from now, but I mention it because it can be a little confusing when you have the same note, but it looks different. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's colored in or has a stem or if it has a flag. As long as it's on this line, it is C. So lines and spaces tell us what note to play. What we use on it is gonna tell us how long to hold it.